Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. I haven't really done a story time video on my channel before, but the other day I was cleaning out my drawers and I came across this. And this right here is a receipt from my first ever designer purchase. I feel like everybody has a story about their very first designer purchase and I wanna share mine with you, so here it is. So my first ever designer purchase was a handbag and it was back in 2013. I was 23, <laughs> 23 years old and I actually had just progressed in the same industry at work but in a different role which required me to work many hours and it also required me to work every single Saturday and Sunday which was obviously quite a lot for a 23 year old because it required me to work so many hours I decided that I wanted to reward myself and I decided that I wanted to buy a handbag because I was going to work every day I was going to meetings and I just thought a handbag was a really good choice as a first designer piece because I would get my money's worth obviously would be able to carry it everywhere and I would be able to see it and know yep that was my reward to myself at the time i was really really interested in getting the louis vuitton never fall bag this bag was really trending at that time but my boyfriend was like listen everybody has the bag you don't want to be like everyone else you should get something different talked me out of buying that bag and into buying this bag which i must say i'm so grateful for so my first designer purchase was a handbag from Prada and it was the Prada Saffiano in black leather with gold hardware. It cost $1,980 and I got it from the Prada store in the Westfield in Pitt Street Mall in Sydney, Australia. I actually remember transferring the funds to my boyfriend's account who worked in the city and made him go and pick up the bag and then I saw him later that night and got the bag off him <laughs> and I was just so so excited to get this handbag it was the beginning of many designer purchases for me so every time i look at this bag i just think that that bag reminds me of hard work you know working making your own money buying shit for yourself there's no greater feeling but i still have the bag i actually still use the bag six seven years down the track i'm going to show you here it is. Now, I believe that this is the medium size version. The one below has the strap. This one does not. And I'm really happy that I ended up going for this version because for my work bag, I like to carry quite a lot of stuff inside. So this suit me really well. The wear and tear of this bag is fantastic. I mean, I can't even begin to explain when I say every single day for four years, I used it all the time. And other than a couple of tears and some creases in the leather, um, for example, like in the corners there, I don't know if you can see that. Obviously the bag is a little bit distorted from its original shape just because I used it so much. The bag is in great condition. The handles are still perfect. There's no tears, there's no marks in the handles at all. So in terms of durability, this bag, I honestly give it like a nine out of 10. It's fantastic. The inside, it's actually full of stuff because I just used it the other day, is, um, it's like black lined, so um, because it's a darker lining, it looks still in really good condition. I couldn't recommend this bag enough. If you're thinking about buying your first ever designer bag and you don't know what to get, I definitely highly recommend getting a Safiano in whatever size you want. I just think it's a great looking bag. It fits a lot inside. I obviously purchased black just because for a first designer handbag, I think black is just the way to go. It's not going to mark easy. Um, and yeah, I'm just really, really happy with the purchase. Comment down below and let me know what your first designer purchase was. I'm actually really curious. Or comment down below and let me know whether you think that my purchase was a good first designer handbag purchase. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye.